everyone and welcome back to Nine Nails Garage. Today we're going to be installing a class 3 2 inch receiver hitch on my wife's 2012 Jeep Grand Cherokee. So what we got over here is a Reese class 3 receiver hitch. It's rated at 5,000 pounds, 500 pound tongue weight, and we've got a wiring harness. So the receiver hitch is pretty easy, pretty basic to install. There are four bolts that are up underneath the Jeep. You can see those two mounting points there. And then right up there, you can see we've got a bolt there, bolt there, that are already in the Jeep. And a bolt there, and a bolt there. So all we're gonna do is remove those bolts, hold our hitch up there, and install it. Then we'll take our wiring harness. I believe we have to remove both tail lights and we'll fish the uh we'll fish the plugs up there this is a no splice wiring harness so we'll fish the plugs up there and plug them into the existing tail lights then we'll fish our four pin connector down and we'll zip tie it to the hitch here so i went with this particular hitch because i didn't want to cut into the plastic on the back of the jeep here some of them you have to cut into it and install a little piece there but this one just hangs down below and as you can see all of the frame is tucked up behind the plastic and then this just hangs down below so it's going to be a nice clean look. It's going to be functional. I will leave the part numbers and the links to where you can buy these on Amazon in the description down below. So we're going to go ahead and get started and install the hitch. First, we'll remove the four bolts with an impact wrench and a 21 millimeter socket. Now we'll make sure to torque the bolts to 115 foot-pounds. And there you have it, the hitch is installed. Now that was a really easy installation. As you can see, it was only four bolts. It looks nice and clean. It doesn't stick up behind the Jeep too far. If you do plan on installing this hitch yourself, do make sure you torque those bolts to 115 foot-pounds. This is a weight carrying piece of equipment that's attached to your vehicle. It's gonna have a trailer attached to it, pulling whatever you pull with it. So. Uh, definitely make sure you torque though, it's very important. So the wiring harness we got sent was, you can see right there, it's for an Acura MDX 2007 to 13, and uh, we ordered part number 56009 for the uh, Jeep Grand Cherokee, and uh, it's kind of interesting, we got a mixture of part numbers. So I'm gonna go ahead, exchange this wiring harness for the correct one, and I'll be right back. So there it is, it is actually a few days later. I ordered this off of Amazon the last time I saw you guys, and uh, Took about five days for it to get here, but we got the correct one. Part number is 56009, Kurt, and uh, that's for a 2000, focus camera, 2007 to 2013 Jeep Grand Cherokee. So open the box here, we got a harness right here. It also comes with some zip ties, um, a screw, that's for our ground right here, self-tapping screw and then also a dust cover for the four pin connector. So there it is right there, one end plugs into the vehicle's wiring harness and the other end plugs into the tail light. So it taps in without cutting any wires and it's very nice and clean insulation. So we'll just go ahead and get everything untangled and then we'll pull the tail lights out of the Jeep and hook everything up. So to remove the tail lights on this Jeep, you can see there's two plastic push pins that hold them in. So I've got these special pliers right here that are made for push pins and they grab right on the outside of the push pin and it makes it really easy to pull it out. You can also do this with uh, some flathead screwdrivers, but they can definitely be a pain in the butt if you don't have the right tool. So just like that, squeeze and pull. And then our light should just pop right out of here. All right, so now that we got our tail lights out of the way, 
we can go ahead and snake our harness up to the back side of the taillights. So the brown and yellow wire go on the driver's side and the white and green wire go on the passenger side. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this spare piece of wire that I got and I'm gonna snake it down from the top side and then I will tape the new harness to this and pull it up through. We'll install our ground wire. I'm just gonna put it right here. With our self-tapping screw that came with the kit. We'll plug our new harness into the old harness and get everything all buttoned up. All we gotta do is put our old tail lights back in and we'll go down underneath and we'll zip tie everything up so it's nice and neat and out of the way. Now zip ties did come with the kit, but I am going to use a little bit longer zip tie that I had in my shop just because I'm going to zip tie the wire right around the frame right here. And now we'll take the excess wire and we'll zip tie it right to this hole right here. And there you go, everything is complete. We got a hitch on there, we got our wire and harness done, and uh, looks like it's gonna work exactly how we wanted it to. We got our wiring harness tucked right up in here. You just pull it down when you need it, and then uh, tuck it back up. So I hope this video helps some of you out that are looking at installing a class three receiver hitch and wiring harness on your Jeep Grand Cherokee. If it did help you out and you learned something or it gave you some valuable information, please smash that like button. But that'll be about all for today's video. Please like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Oh,